auditioning at a young age, I was always like, what are these movies about? Like, my high school experience wasn't like this at all. And then Donnie Darko came up and I was like, oh, this feels like my high school experience. <laughs> <laughs> so if that gives you any insight into who, who I am and how I pick roles, then I hope it does. <laughs> Do Donnie Darko was a big moment for you. You were 20 when it was, yeah, when you 20, made it? Yeah. I think t maybe 21 when it came out. But that was, is that the movie that sort of, more than anything else, kind of defined your taste in movies? The, did it kind of signal to you, you know, in a perfect world, this is the kind of movie I'm going to make all the time? It's, uh, it's funny to do that. Like, that and this movie, October Sky. <laughs> it's like, right. These two, I was super young when I made October Sky. I was 16 years old. And then also Donnie Darko. It's sort of, those are different sides of me, you know. It's October Sky, very optimistic. Yeah, I I believe in hope. I I I, I believe in uh, love. I do. I believe that uh, y you know the human mind is really complicated. So yeah, I mean I think Donnie Darko, to me is one of my favorite movies I've made and one I'm most proud of because uh, it it does sort of define not the way I look at the world literally, but. Um, there are a lot of things in there that I believe about the world, yeah. What is, some, what, is, what is one element of that movie that really, one scene, one aspect of it that really resonated with you that you thought was just incredibly cool and still think it's incredibly cool? I think the sequence where he, and my character, meets um, the, the bunny rabbit, you know, Frank. Uh, that cute, that cute little that bunny sweet, rabbit. That sweet, sweet bunny rabbit, yeah. <laughs> I like what you call it full a bunny of hope, rabbit. Full of yeah. hope and joy. Yeah. Um, when I when I when I meet him, I think that that scene. I just remember when we first shot it, like on a golf course and stuff. You know, it's just movies are so amazing, and being an actor in them, and even being on stage is so amazing because you you really never know how people are going to respond to those things. And these are things that when we were doing them, they were important to us, but we never knew it would have the resonance that they have. So or that they've they've had, and so that. That, that scene in particular. And also I remember as an actor making a choice in that scene as to how I talked to the rabbit. Um, you know, that wasn't really scripted and it was the beginning where, where I said, well, oh, I'm just gonna throw this to see if it sticks, you know? Yeah. And all of a sudden I sort of started looking at the rabbit, my sort of chin down, looking at him in a particular way. I think because of the angle of where the camera was in the close up and then eventually became you know, a choice that my character made every time he saw the rabbit, sort of how he started to talk to him. And it's those little things that I've learned to trust over time, those little weird instinctual things character-wise that I go, oh, why is that showing? Oh, I'm going to use that, you know. Um, and that was the beginning of it. So that's why I love that scene the most. Hey, everybody, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment if you enjoyed it or if you didn't enjoy it. And for more of the Jess Cagle interview, click on the subscribe button down here. We've got plenty of other great videos for you too. Check them out by clicking on one of these links.